There are patients who must catheterize every day of their lives. Uh, generally, they're patients with a condition called chronic urinary retention. This can be the result of spinal cord injury, post-stroke, spina bifida, diabetic neuropathies. These patients have to catheterize every day of their lives with intermittent catheterization. So six or eight times a day, these people are inserting a tube into the urethra in order to void. And that's the best alternative that exists. The alternative to that is an indwelling catheter with a containment bag that's usually strapped to your leg. Now, whatever medical condition you have, it seems a lot worse when you're tied to a bag of your own urine. This is a significant quality of life problem, and it's a significant problem in terms of infection. Both of these techniques have relatively high infection rate, although intermittent catheterization is significantly better than indwelling. In the IDE study, the inflow was equivalent to intermittent catheterization. In smaller long-term studies, it was vastly superior even to intermittent catheterization. This is pretty extraordinary for an indwelling device, and it has no precedent. And it's due to the dynamic nature of this product. The inflow is sized to the length of the patient's urethra. Seven sizes are available in half centimeter increments from three and a half to seven. Following the usual preparation, the inflow is easily inserted. It comes with its introducer attached. Its fingers hold it in the bladder. Its meatal tab keeps it from migrating up. It's also very easily removed. Inside the inflow is a small magnet. Attached to this magnet are plastic rotors, top and bottom. When this magnet is spun, by the remote control, the effect is to create a turbine pump spinning at 10,000 RPM. The effect is to create an almost normal flow rate and to fully evacuate the bladder. These patients often stay at home because they're too embarrassed to go out because they've got a bag of urine tied to their leg they become socially isolated. In contrast, the inflow is discreet. Nothing protrudes outside the body. Nobody knows that they're wearing the device. They can use the toilet like any normal person. The idea of being able to reduce the infection level for a significant patient population like this is a very meaningful contribution to the art.